Welcome to an example of numerical integration. We want to use the midpoint rule with n equals four to approximate the definite integral. And since n equals four, we'll be using four rectangles to approximate this definite integral. And because we're using the midpoint rule, we'll use the x value that will be the midpoint of each interval to then determine the function value which will give us the height of each rectangle. To illustrate this, let's consider this function here where the interval from zero to two is divided into four equal intervals. And if we consider each interval, notice how we're using the midpoint of each interval to determine the function value which gives us the height of each rectangle. So to find the area of each rectangle, we'll find f of the midpoint and then multiply it by the width of each rectangle which will be delta x. Now just to compare, if we use the left sum or the left side of each interval to determine the height of each rectangle, it would look like this. If we decided to use the right sum or the right side of each interval to determine the rectangle height, it would look like this. But again, for our example, we're using the midpoint rule, which means our rectangles would look like this. So if we take a look at this midpoint formula for a moment, notice how we have the sum of f of x sub i minus one plus x sub i divided by two. This gives us the midpoint, which we then sub into the function to find the height of the rectangle. Then we multiply this by delta x, the width, to find the area of each rectangle. Let's begin by determining delta x. Delta x is equal to b minus a divided by n. b is 3.5, a is negative 0.5, and n is given as four. So notice that delta x is just four divided by four, or one. Now that we have delta x, let's find the endpoints of each interval. So the first endpoint of the first interval will be x sub zero, which will always be just a, so negative zero point five. And now to find x sub one, we just add delta x, which is one. Negative zero point five plus one is positive zero point five x sub two would be 0.5 plus one or 1.5, x sub three, 1.5 plus one is 2.5, and finally x sub four is 2.5 plus one or 3.5. We know we're done because notice how 3.5 is b. So let's go ahead and set this up. The integral from negative 0 0.5 to 3.5 of one-fourth x to the third dx will be approximately equal to the sum given by this midpoint formula. So the first function value will be f of, if i is one, notice how we'd have x sub zero plus x sub one divided by two, or negative zero point five plus zero point five divided by two. That'll give us the height of the first rectangle times delta x, which is one plus f of when i is two, we have x sub one plus x sub two divided by two, which would be 0 0.5 plus 1.5 divided by two. There's the height of the second rectangle times delta x, which is one, plus f of when i is three, we have x sub two plus x sub three divided by two which would be 1.5 plus 2.5 divided by two. This is the height of the third rectangle times delta x, which is one, plus f of when i is four, this will be the last value of i. Since n is four, we have x sub three plus x sub four divided by two. 2.5 plus 3.5 divided by two times delta x, which is one. Let's go ahead and simplify this. Here we have f of, this would be zero times one, plus this would be f of two divided by two is one, so f of one times one, plus this would be f of four divided by two is two, f of two times one, and then finally plus f of, this would be six divided by two, or f of three times one. So now we're going to find these function values using the function f of x equals one-fourth x to the third, and then find these products, and then find the sum. But before we do this, let's look at the rectangles this represents. 
Here's the graph of our function. Notice how the first interval from negative point five to one point five is here. Then we have point five to one point five here, one point five to two point five, two point five to three point five. Notice the midpoint of each interval is determining the height of each rectangle. Also notice it looks like this first rectangle has a height of zero. Now let's go back and finish our calculation. Well f of zero would be one-fourth times zero cubed times one plus f of one would be one-fourth times one cubed times one plus f of two would be one-fourth times two cubed times one and f of three would be one-fourth times three cubed times one. And we'll finish this on the next slide. This first product would be zero, and then we have plus, this would just be one-fourth, plus one-fourth times two cubed, that's one-fourth times eight, that's two times one is two, plus here we have one-fourth times three cubed, or one-fourth times twenty-seven, which is twenty-seven-fourths. Which would just be one-fourth plus two over one is equivalent to eight-fourths plus twenty-seven-fourths. So we have thirty-six-fourths, which is equal to nine. So nine would be the approximation for the definite integral using the midpoint rule. And since the function is non-negative on this interval, we can say we're using the area of these rectangles to approximate the area under the function on the interval from negative zero point five to three point five. I hope you found this helpful.